Follow me around. Put the camera down for you so I could ask. Mic check, 212. 212. Mic check, mic check. All right, we're, uh, we're in Torreon, Mexico, and I wanted you guys to get an authentic feel of how uh, my time in Mexico was well spent, so I brought you guys to the best place I could think of. We're at Denny's. <laughs> this is actually one of my preferred spots. I could have taken you anywhere, but this is actually what I actually do on my days off. Um, I go to Denny's, so why change it? <laughs> um, I usually get egg whites and turkey bacon. Turn it off now, I'll tell you what I get. <laughs> um, I'm all over the place. Grand Slams are a, a go-to. I might go steak and eggs today, just because. <laughs> this is the truth, I'm an absolute weirdo in this country. Like people think I, it's like crazy. My teammates do that. I'm 31. This is this isn't what I ordered. I ordered the, the uh, egg whites. Not married, no kids that I know of. So they think it's like absolutely strange. It could be true. I mean, I am hanging out with you guys at Denny's instead of like with my family. So do not judge me. That's all I gotta say. I've been burning a lot of calories lately, so it's just. Uh, Let's not talk about this. Torreon is actually better in a sense that when it comes to traffic and the way people drive uh, compared to the rest of Mexico. Mexico City is nuts. Here at least people are respectful. Uh, it's more civilized. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's fine. You know, it's just like driving anywhere else. Torreon's actually got like the same, it's very similar landscape to, to Vegas. Just no casinos, so it's, I almost feel at home driving. <laughs> It's the same way too, it rains, people don't know what to do. It's like Vegas, they freak out. There are like floods everywhere, people don't know how to handle it. It's, it's pretty comical. Well, we're one of the more historical parts of Torreon right now. This is downtown Torreon. Uh, every city, pueblo in Mexico has kind of like their downtown, which is where the city kind of sprung up on and where the majority of the historical artifacts are and whatnot. This is just another example. Um, it's pretty cool because it's a nice little day. Come out and walk around. Now this isn't like what all of Toreon looks like. This is just like the downtown, little centralized place. Just go ahead and walk. Obviously here you'll find like the flea market and stuff that's not really street legal. Yeah, people here are huge fans of the, of the team. Um, so they come up talk to you whenever they get a chance. Uh, pictures, everything. So it's cool. You know, people here are really friendly. Oh, look at this. It's a great shirt. The little rollies going on. And this is just one of the parts Torreon has. And it's not indicative of what all Torreon looks like. Torreon is. Uh, it's crazy because it's a downtown area. It's just kind of like a little original feel. You see other parts of Torreon, um, and it's no different than if you were in California, you know? Uh, I'd compare it to Central California, really. This is like one of the big papers here, and you can see everything's just soccer. It's all soccer. So, see? So, it's national soccer, and you keep going inside. And they're gonna have like just see. This is all Santos now, and it's us. And they're talking about like us doing regeneration and whatnot. It's a coach. There's Osvaldo. There's Beloy. 